Hello, I'm going to try to introduce to you the Ice Cube project. Uh, the Ice Cube project is actually simple to describe. What we are doing is building the largest particle physics detector ever. What we're actually detecting, as you can see from the slide, is neutrinos, but I'll come back to that later. Uh, we are building it, it's so big that we are building it out of a material that you don't have to buy. The original idea was to build it deep out of ocean water, but we are building it out of Antarctic ice. And this is a picture of Antarctic ice, not where we are building the detector, but at the coast. At the South Pole, the ice is three kilometers deep, and we are taking a chunk of one billion tons of this detector uh, to out of the ice. So to give you an idea, if we melted the ice in the detector, we could fill the lake in front of this campus several times over. So the breakthrough we got was that we not only need a lot of ice, it had to be very clear, very transparent to light uh, to work. And we knew ice was transparent, but this ice was much more transparent than we thought. And that's why I'm standing here and we'll be able to build this detector. And so I want to emphasize the ice itself is a detector. What we do is we melt holes and deploy sensors into the ice to read out the detector. And we basically freeze those things in and then take data. So the detector is 800 meters from the geographic South Pole. If you go one and a half meter deep, we build a detector that's called Amanda, which uh, consists of about uh, 700 of these light sensors. This is how you sense the light in the ice. You have the light strike this and an electric current comes out. It's the opposite of a light bulb and this current goes to your computer uh, on campus. So we deployed 700 of these and showed that this method worked. So these are a few pictures. This is the pole seen from an airplane. The left you see the pole on the right, you see the ice cube project. The biggest part of this project is to melt ice. We have a five megawatt power plant, which you get there in 50 planes like this. So why are we doing something? This obviously sounds crazy, so you better have a good reason. Well, the reason is to do astronomy in a novel way. Uh, this is a picture taken by a normal telescope of a star that exploded a thousand years ago. And as you can see, when you take this picture with different colors of light, you see different things. Now, all colors of light have been used up in the last hundred years. So we are going to shift particles from particles of light to something else. And the something else is neutrinos, the only thing available in nature. The problem was to do this, you have to build this big detector. So we just want to extend this list. Now, what are we going to see? Well, we build it and we'll see what we see. This is a discovery project. So how do you detect these neutrinos? This is a nuclear reactor covered with water. And when particles go through water, they make blue light. And so that's what we are doing with uh, this detector. The problem is, so these are the sensors. The problem is the neutrino will mostly stream through your detector but about one in a million times, it will make a nuclear reaction by crashing into an atom. And then it makes blue light in a way that uh, particle physicists understand. And so the detector elements that you saw in this picture are the sensors I showed. So this is an example of a neutrino streaming from the bottom to the top to the detector. It's a neutrino because it came through the earth. And so this is a track of a neutrino made by a neutrino in the ice cube detector in half that's built. And so what you then do is you make a map of the directions where these neutrinos came from. And so the map as time goes on develops. And with ice cube, it will be big and clear enough to hopefully see what Yogi Berra predicted. 